In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to multiply a binomial by a binomial. If you recall, a binomial is composed of two terms. If you look at the prefix of by, remember a bicycle. A bicycle has two wheels. In our first example, we want to simplify the following. y equals x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 3. If you recall, this is the equation of a quadratic relation, and it is a quadratic relation in factored form. My first binomial is x plus 1, and my second binomial is x plus 3. I'm going to take those terms and put it in the chart below. That's x, and I'm going to put plus 1 over here. My next binomial is going to be x plus 3. Again, it's really important that you pay attention to the signs. Remember that we are multiplying binomials. So if you take a look over here, you'll notice that there is no operation between these two brackets. And that corresponds to multiplication. So we're going to multiply our binomials. Let's begin by multiplying x by x. x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by positive 1 is positive 1x. You don't need the 1, but I'm going to write it in anyways. And then we have positive 3 multiplied by x, which is positive 3x. And then positive 3 multiplied by positive 1, which is positive 3, because a positive multiplied by positive stays positive. We're going to take these terms and we're going to collect like terms. So I have x squared, positive 1x, positive 3x, and then positive 3. Let's identify like terms. That and that are like terms, which means we can collect them and everything else is going to stay the same. So that gives me x squared plus 4x plus 3. And y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3 is the final answer. In our second example, we want to simplify the following. y equals x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 3. Again, you're going to take the first binomial and write it into the chart, x and positive 2. Then you're going to write x and negative 6. We're going to multiply these terms now. x times x is x squared. x multiplied by positive 2 is positive 2x. And x multiplied by negative 6 is negative 6x. And negative 6 multiplied by positive 2 is negative 12. Because when you have a negative multiplied by a positive, your final answer is negative. Next, I'm going to rewrite these terms. y equals x squared plus 2x minus 6x minus 12. I'm going to identify like terms, positive 2x and negative 6x. I'm going to collect these like terms. Everything else needs to stay the same. So positive 2x subtract 4x is negative 4x. If you don't believe me, go ahead and use a calculator. It's like saying I have two apples and then I take away six apples. I'm in debt by six apples. And the negative 12 stays exactly the same. So the final answer is y equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. In our third example, we want to simplify the following. y equals x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 5. We're going to begin by writing these binomials into the chart. So I'm going to start with x and negative 2, and then x and negative 5. So x times x is x squared. x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 2x. Negative 5 multiplied by x is negative 5x. And negative 5 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 10, because a negative multiplied by a negative makes a positive. At this point, I'm going to rewrite these terms, x squared minus 2x minus 5x plus 10. 
I'm going to identify my like terms. So negative 2x and negative 5x are like terms. Let's go ahead and collect them. Everything else stays the same. So negative 2x subtract 5x is negative 7x. If you don't believe me, use a calculator. And that plus 10 should stay the same. So my final answer is y equals x squared minus 7x plus 10. In our fourth example, we want to simplify the following. y equals 3x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. This is a little bit more of a complicated question, but we're going to use the same steps. So let's write the first binomial into the chart, which is 3x. And then I have positive 2. Down here, I have the other binomial. So I have x and then positive 3. If it makes you more comfortable, you can write a number 1 in front of the x. Okay, so I'm going to multiply 1x multiplied by 3x. So let's take a look at the numbers first. 1 times 3 is 3. x times x is x squared. Next, I have 1x multiplied by positive 2. So positive 1 multiplied by positive 2 is positive 2, and the x tags along. Next, I have positive 3 multiplied by 3x. Let's take a look at the numbers first. Positive 3 multiplied by positive 3 is positive 9, and the x tags along. I'm just going to put a little positive sign in front. And last but not least, we have positive 3 multiplied by positive 2, which is positive 6. At this point, we're going to rewrite our terms on the side. y equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 9x plus 6. At this point, we're going to identify like terms, so positive 2x and positive 9x. We're going to collect these like terms. Everything else needs to stay exactly the same. So positive 2x plus 9x is like saying I have two apples and I have another 9 apples, which means I have a total of 11 apples. But instead of apples, I'm going to use the variable of x. And the plus 6 tags along. So my final answer is y equals 3x squared plus 11x plus 6. In our fifth example, we want to simplify the following. y equals 2x plus 3 multiplied by 3x minus 4. This is an even more complicated question, but we're going to use the same step. So I'm going to write 2x over here and positive 3. And down here, I'm going to write 3x and negative 4. So let's begin by multiplying 3x by 2x. Let's take a look at the numbers first. 3 times 2 is 6, and x times x is x squared. Next, I'm going to take 3x and multiply it by positive 3. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, or positive 9, I should say, and the x just tags along. Next, we have negative 4 multiplied by 2x. So let's take a look at the numbers first. Negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. The x tags along. And last but not least, we have negative 4 multiplied by positive 3, which is negative 12. At this point, you're going to rewrite your terms. So I have 6x squared, positive 9x, negative 8x, and then minus 12. So let's identify like terms. My positive 9x and negative 8x are like terms. Let's go ahead and collect them. Everything else should stay the same. So I have 6x squared. Positive 9x subtract 8x is positive 1x. And then negative 12 stays the same. However, I do not like to write in those ones, so I'm going to take it out in my final answer. Therefore, my final answer is y equals 6x squared plus x subtract 12. In our sixth example, we want to simplify the following y equals 2 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3. You'll notice something a little bit different. There is a number in front of the binomials. We're going to deal with this number after we deal with the binomials. So let's take a look at x minus 2. I'm going to put x here and negative 2 here. And I'm going to put x here and negative 5 over here. So let's go ahead and multiply these terms. x times x is x squared x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 2x, negative 5 multiplied by x is negative 5x, and negative 5 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 10, because a negative multiplied by negative makes a positive. Therefore, I'm going to take these terms and rewrite them. However, 
I did not do anything with this two, so it has to stay there. Everything else goes in brackets. So I have x squared minus 2x minus 5x plus 10. This point you want to identify like terms, which is negative 2x and negative 5x. And in our next step, we are going to collect like terms. So everything else stays the same. Negative 2x subtract 5x is negative 7x, and the plus 10 stays exactly the same. At this point, we're going to use a distributive property. We're going to distribute the 2 to everything inside the brackets. Remember, when you have a number in front of a pair of brackets, it is multiplication. So everything is going to be multiplied by 2. So 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 multiplied by negative 7x is negative 14x. And 2 multiplied by positive 10 is positive 20. Therefore, our final answer is y equals 2x squared minus 14x plus 20. In our last example, we want to simplify the following. y equals 3 multiplied by 2x plus 3 multiplied by 3x minus 4. Again, you'll see a number in front of our binomials. We're going to deal with it after. So let's take our binomials and write it into our chart. I have 2x and positive 3, and here I have 3x and negative 4. So let's multiply these terms. 3x multiplied by 2x is 6x squared. 3x multiplied by positive 3 is positive 9x. Next, we have negative 4 multiplied by 2x, which is negative 8x. And last but not least, I have negative 4 multiplied by positive 3, which is negative 12. At this point, I'm going to take these terms and rewrite them. However, I did not touch the 3, so it has to stay the same. Everything else goes in brackets. So I have 6x squared plus 9x subtract 8x subtract 12. We're going to identify like terms. So I have positive 9x and negative 8x as like terms. Let's go ahead and collect them. Everything else stays the same. So the 3 and the 6x squared stays the same. Positive 9x subtract 8x is positive 1x. Again, you don't need the 1, but let's just leave it in there for now. And the negative 12 stays exactly the same. Remember, when you have a number in front of a pair of brackets, you're going to use the distributive property. And the operation is multiplication. So everything gets multiplied by 3. 3 times 6x squared is 18x squared. 3 multiplied by positive 1x is positive 3x. And then 3 multiplied by negative 12 is negative 36. Therefore, my final answer is y equals 18x squared plus 3x minus 36.